Hello and welcome for the second time <laughs> to my Facebook Live at 618. Um, today is Friday, January the 15th, and welcome everyone. My name is Charlene Ito, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from San Francisco, California. Today I will be making a uh, window swing fold card um, like this and um, it just swings open and it has this window. Um, this is a card I learned from Susan Campfield and I'm using a different stamp set. Um, she used this during the holidays and I did as well and made one using the uh, Merry Christmas set and uh, which was, um, they, we don't carry the Christmas uh, moose punch anymore, but it was really cute because you just need some sort of focal point uh, on the card. So um, to make it my own, I just use the Dandy Wishes uh, Sweet Collection. So this stamp is so versatile. Um, it's the Dragonfly Garden, if you can see has two dragonflies, um, the wings, to color in the wings, little baby dragonflies, and really nice um, sayings as well. And uh, this is in the mini catalog um, from January through June, so you can get it uh, during that time. But I just wanna remind you that um, celebration is still on um, till February the 28th, and $50 gets you uh, free stamps or free um, designer series paper. So it's a it's a of your choice um, through the catalog. And you can go on my website, um, the catalog and um, the celebration catalog is also on there uh, if you want to check it out. So there's a lot of techniques in this card and um, so let's get started. Let me just put you on my desk. Oops, let's see, that's a ceiling. There we go. Okay. All right, so first you just need a um, regular A2 size card. So that's cut at eight and a half by five and a half, and then it's scored at four and a quarter. So the, the, the um, trimmer has a scoring tool, which is a light gray and a cutter. So that's a really nice feature of the stamping up trimmer. It just breaks down the fibers so when you fold it, it comes out really nice. So then I'm just using a white cardstock. Actually, this is the shimmer paper. Um, and I'm going to cut this five by eight. So. Five by eight. And then I'm going to score this at two. Four and six. And this is pretty much the basis of the card. Oh, and then I'm going to cut the designer series paper. So the front is five and a half by one and a quarter. Uh, the, the five and a half is the long size, so if you have directional paper, you want this to go on. Um, going up and down. So that's five and a half. Oh, let's see, this is five and a half. So by four, five and a half by four, by one and a half. And this is the front. And then um, the inside is four and three quarters by one and three quarters. 
So one and three quarters. By four and three quarters. Okay. And I hope I'm right side up. But anyway, so I'm just using vellum and I'm using the two inch circle punch. And you're going to um, punch out a two inch circle from vellum. And then you're going to also punch out the dragonfly. And I just use copper. So you look at it upside down so you can see where you're punching. That, that way you know you're getting the whole dragonfly in there. And then I have my dragonfly punched out. Okay. So what I did was um, I used the stamp and cut emboss dies. This is a stitched shape dies. And I used my um, cut and emboss machine. Uh, this stitch shape dies has circles, squares, and ovals. Uh, this is a fantastic um, uh, die to have because it's layered. You can layer one another, one side the other. Um, so you can use white and then a different color to outline your sentiment, which always looks nice. I'm using the largest circle and uh, the second to largest circle and then the small oval for my, my um, sentiment. And so what I did was I, I put this on my card like this, and I ran it through the machine. And so that made my window. Then I also took this uh, stem and cut and emboss embossing folder uh, because I had just gotten it and I thought it looked very earthy um, for, the, for the dragonfly. And I just put this like this in my my cardstock in there and then I ran this through my embossing um, machine and then uh, it made this gorgeous I mean this is I think this is uh, oh, I don't know it's part of the art something um, s stamp sets but anyway um, see how it made it textured and I thought that was really earthy earthy looking okay then I just stamped The, um, oh, and then I, I want to show you the mini Stampin' Emboss. So cute, so cute. So it's small. A lot of the dies will still fit in this, uh, even if they have one big die in the set. The small, smaller dies, like the flowers and the leaves and everything, will still fit through this. I've used this a lot because I just keep it where I have my television and I just um, emboss things. So... It comes with everything that you need. So this one just says for to die cut. You just need one uh, and plate one and then two of the clear. And they're all numbered, so it's very easy for you. So this is two and this is this is two. And I just use the same one to cut in. And I face my dies down to cut. I just use a little um, painter's tape to keep it on on the um, plates and then you just run that through this takes up just very little real estate and um, shelf space um, and, and I just love using this little mini emboss cutter so this is in the catalog as well so it just punched out this is stitch dies so I'm going to put a sentiment on there And also, it just cut out my square, okay, that I'm gonna put on there. And then um, I want to emboss as well with one of their embossing plates. These are like little leaves, so I thought that went with the garden. And I'm gonna put that little uh, copper square in there. When you um, paper emboss on, on uh, metallic papers, 
it, it really comes out beautifully. So for this one, I just need one, and then I just need the embossing plate. Oh, this is the embossing plate. No, this is not the embossing plate. Okay, so this is number three is the embossing plate. So one, and then you put this in the sandwich, and then you put three. Okay, and you just run that through. And then you take this out, and it makes a beautiful embossed little square that you're gonna use. And then this just folds up. See how small this is? I love it. Okay, so now I'm going, now that I have everything cut out, I'm just going to do a little bit of stamping. I'm gonna do some dragonflies just on the, the fourth panel on the bottom because this is the back panel that's gonna show. And I'm gonna stamp the sentiment. So this is make good things grow all year long. And I'll just stamp that in there. Kind of in the center. Oh, and then I'll stamp the little front sentiment, which means for a true friend. Okay, so that's ready to go. And then all you're gonna do is you're going to um, fold this. So I just use my bone folder, which So this one is like a valley fold. And you just burnish it with your bone folder. And then this one is a mountain fold. It's a valley mountain. And then this one is a mountain fold again. And so this is what you're getting. Okay, and then you're going to take your um, thicker, let's see here, uh, designer series paper, So this one goes on this panel. Sorry. Oh. Okay. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to take your folder, you're going to just add some stamp and seal, and you're just going to, you know, put it on the end, like this. All right, now you're going to just fold this over like this, and then you have this page. Now what you're gonna do is you're going to, you don't wanna get any glue on this side, on the back side, so you're just gonna do kind of like a U and and um, you're gonna add glue or adhesive, whatever you, whatever you like. Just make sure you don't go too high. Here, it doesn't really matter. Okay, 
And you're gonna fold that over. So you just wait a few seconds for that glue to um, So that when you open the card, you know, it sticks to that front page. It still has to kind of glue. Okay, then you're gonna take this beautiful little square that you made. You're going you're gonna stick this on the right side. So only on this right side. And you're just gonna center it. So you have that and see how this swings open. Okay. Now we're going to stick this little vellum circle, which is kind of like a moon, but you can see through it. So the back will show through because you don't want to hide that. It's very beautiful. Okay. Now the, the, uh, Dragonfly, I stamped the dragonfly. I just want to show you how I colored it. And I used um, light sea side spray. Body. And then I used um, the brush end of um, light pretty peacock. And I, oh, first I, I stamped this in yellow, the, um, I used the wing stamp, and it's kind of like a watercolor, so it's supposed to, it, does, it doesn't really stain the lines, but I would just want some yellow in there, that's why I want to use that, and this is Daffodil Delight. Okay, so then I used the brush end, and I just used the Pretty, the pretty Peacock color just on the bottom of the wing. And then I used um, a Purple Posy. This is a dark Purple Posy. And I just kind of went on that line and it just kind of blends in there. Because I still want that yellow, but I want this to blend. Kind of like dragonflies look. And then I cut this out. And I cut this out uh, without the punch because the punch leaves a little bit of border and I just fussy cut it because I just want it exactly on the line, okay? Because I stamped the, or I punched out the dragonfly and I'm gonna mount this on top and it's gonna give it a border of the um, copper. And it just really makes it pop. So you just put a little bit of glue. And you just put it on top of the copper. And the glue always gives you a, like a little leeway to slide it around to get it perfect. Okay. Then I added um, dimensionals. And of course I lost my dimension. Here we go. All right, so I put dimensionals on that. Oops. And then I put um, the dragonfly right on top of that glue mark so you don't see it. I uh, stamped for a true friend. And I put that in the front. And this, See where that fold is? I'm gonna go right up to that fold. It's kind of easier if I do it upside down. And this goes on the 
front of the card. Okay. And then I added a little dragonfly that I put glue dots ahead of time and I store them on the top of the cover of my um, my little uh, see, I don't know where my take a pick tool is but I put my little ladybug for good luck on there and then on the inside I just used these uh, Artist, artistry bloom sequences, sequins, and I always put three. Okay, so that's the finished card. So thank you so much. If you watched my first Facebook Live, um. Uh, it, that sideways, I really appreciate it. I'm hoping this one comes out right. If it doesn't, well, we'll try again next Friday. So um, thank you so much for watching today, and you have a great weekend. So I'll see you next Friday for my live at 5. Bye. Thank you, guys.